Good afternoon, everyone. David Paul speaking. It's uh, about half past four in the UK. Uh, I'm looking at the American market today, and uh, green is good. Uh, the uh, Vectorvest uh, advocates buying safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. The short-term trend of the American market is up. The longer-term trend is up, uh, and uh, all looks good. Uh, if I have uh, already loaded the overall market, this is the Vectorvest composite of the U.S. Uh, and uh, uh, just broken out of this five wave uh, symmetrical triangle and pushing to the upside. I remain reasonably bullish uh, and largely that's because of a weekly view and if I look at the weekly chart over three years I've shown uh, this many times now uh, market pulling up this is the same triangle pushing out of this triangle that's been in place uh, and uh, if I put on the MACD, I can see that this breakout of this triangle is being preceded by this very strong reverse divergence or hidden divergence on the MACD. And um, I think that this uh, move uh, has still got quite a long way to go. I have a full portfolio of 11 stocks running in the uh, US market at the moment, but the one I want to talk about today uh, is a, a relatively small little company called MKS Instruments, which looks to me as if it wants to move. It's up about 1% today, uh, but the numbers are really good. It's trading at 116. Um, VectorVest believes that it's worth 194, so significantly undervalued. Uh, the relative value, which is a measure of the price appreciation potential against uh, a treble A rated corporate bond, is at 1.7. Anything above 1.3 is really good. Uh, RS, uh, the um, measure of the stock safety at 1.42 on the scale between 0 and 2 is excellent. And it's trending up the page. Uh, it's got a very positive VST at 1.42 and it's on a buy recommendation with a stop at 108. We believe it's going to grow earnings at 31% next year. Now, uh, the chart is quite exciting. Uh, there's the chart, folks, over the last year. I can put on the valuation. As you can see, the VectorVest valuation well above the price. I'll take off the valuation so it can give us a little bit more screen space. I've got a very strong support line here, which has got one, two, three, four touches. As you can see, earnings per share up doubled over the last year. Uh, and uh, the share uh, pulled back uh, to support, moved up the page, couldn't get quite through, pulled back a little bit. And today, in fact, it would seem to have broken this neckline. Um, on the upside. Now, um, this left head, right shoulders, this distance should be repeated, and that would take us up here somewhere uh, uh, towards the Vector S target. But it's on a buy recommendation. Uh, there is, a, for those people that are FIB analysts, uh, from uh, this low to this high. The market pulled back to this confluence of this support level and the 78% retracement of this last range. That's a very, very important uh, confluence. Again, those people that understand FIB will see that there was an AB equals CD wave down here. And this pattern, in fact, was made famous by a fellow called Harry Gartley, uh, the guts of 100 years ago. And it's known by Fibonacci analysts as a Gartley 222. Uh, and uh, this um, uh, breakout today, I think, is quite important here. Uh, and uh, I think that MKS Instruments looks as if it wants to go much higher over the next few weeks. Uh, it's always fun when markets are rising. Uh, and uh, I think that all of my recommendations are on uh, a strongly trending up today, which is just great. Have a great trading day. Bye-bye now.